All across Georgia, visitors and residents love to fish the many waterways the state has to offer. One hatchery in North Georgia strives to make sure that trout fishermen in the area always have plenty of opportunity for a good catch. The Monitor's Mark Wildman has the story. Deep in the woods of the Chattahoochee National Forest sits a facility that is crucial to the success of many anglers that come to the North Georgia mountains. Every year, visitors to the area try their hand at snagging a beautiful trout from some of the many area rivers and streams. But without the Chattahoochee Forest National Fish Hatchery, they simply would not have any luck. They can't survive and certainly can't support the fishing pressure. Uh, if this facility were not here, there would be very few catchable fish. Deborah Berger and her staff at the hatchery take great care and have many years devoted to the hatchery and the way of life it brings to North Georgia. We have uh, about uh, 25 streams that we actually stock ourselves, and also the state of Georgia sends trucks in to pick up uh, stockable size fish and take them back uh, to other streams. So pretty much all over North Georgia. The hatchery raises the fish from eggs and grows them to various sizes before sending them off in trucks to populate waterways. Normally uh, nine to 10 inches is what we release into the streams. Uh, we do have a 12 inch program on uh, four different streams. Uh, we put a few 12 inch fish in those streams. If it was only this easy to catch such a beautiful fish in the wild. The hatchery is doing a valuable service to the region by stocking fish in an area where they could not multiply themselves. The water temperatures are so varied, the water supply is so varied in this area that they just cannot reproduce. And were it not for this facility, there would be very little trout fishing in this area. In these ponds that are called raceways by the staff, the trout thrive and reach many different weights. We feed them, it's a dry pelleted diet. Uh, it's basically grain based, uh, high in protein. Uh, it's got vitamins and, and stuff uh, milled into the, into the feed. It depends on the size of the fish. Uh, anywhere from uh, the, on the bigger fish, 8,000, uh, say 9 to 10 inch fish per raceway. The smaller, uh, 2 to 3 inch fish, 50 to 60,000 per raceway. The facility, which helps produce millions in tax revenue, could be in danger of shutting down due to government cutbacks. And if this facility is lost, it will hurt more than the fish in these raceways, but the entire area of the state that depends on the money generated by these beautiful fish. That's one of the big things that draws the campers to the mountains is one of the big things is the trout fishing, you know, and uh, I mean, it's local stores. Uh, uh, we've got a Walmart a few miles away in, in Blairsville. I mean, they benefit from, you know, the, the, the fish in the streams. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's a big economic impact uh, for the whole community. There aren't very many jobs in this area. This hatchery provides over 317 jobs for every $1 federal dollar spent on this hatchery, $37.20 is put back into the economy. Reporting for the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Mark Wildman.